Yo guys, so my next guest is Poldark's Christian Brassington and in the next clip we see him answer the fans' best and most ridiculous would you rather questions. Okay, first one is from Debbie on Twitter. Right. <laughs> would you rather have to run around a busy city naked for two hours or be completely clothed at all times for two months? Oh, so you were bought a bit to the shower? Because <laughs> I'd go for the... Yeah, it'd be like... I think I'd rather be fully clothed just because of the... I mean, like, camera phones everywhere. That's yeah. it. Then you're the then you're the naked man who ran around the city. <laughs> but fully clothed means that, yeah, you couldn't... You couldn't have a... You could have a shower. You could have a bath. No. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna go for fully clothed for two months even with that awful damp chafing that's going to come from having my wet clothes on. <laughs> and probably, question, uh, probably question, uh, some very dirty trousers, I'd imagine. Yeah, you would have, wouldn't you? Oh, God. Oh, yeah, I didn't think about that. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> uh, yeah. No, I mean, think about it, though. You run around the city, your, your, your career takes a hit, you get arrested. You know, you're, you're on everyone's social media. Yeah, I think yeah. you made the right choice. Also, I've already mentioned how many donuts I've been eating. Like, the idea of being able to run for two hours, it's, that seems like a lot at the moment. Right, like, fair, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough, okay. Good answer. <laughs> Good answer. I'm with you on that one. All right, second one is from Gluteus Minimus. Would you rather lose the ability to act for good or be stuck in the character of Ozzy forever? Man, I mean, he might be the worst person I've ever encountered. But then, but that's like, but to not be able to do my job anymore, I mean, my vocation. <laughs> uh, I, man. I mean, Ozzy had a nice life, really. Uh, <laughs> uh, I, You're I considering it. I just, I just, he had a nice house, you know, like in the countryside and. So it was blagging up. He like had lots of cake and sherry, but he was just so vile. And the things he did are just, I wouldn't be able to cope with that. I think I'd have to stop acting. Fair enough. Yeah, just for like, just for the sake of Morwenna and Rowella and all those poor people that he encounters along the way. And any other future victims, maybe, if you and, were to be stuck future, And he's like, he's, his wife before as well, what happened to her? I've got some questions about that. There's Tell me that. Yeah, I, I think I'd have to, very sadly, heartbreakingly, give up acting. Fair enough, fair enough. Is I think that, that says a lot about what's in here. You're, you're good inside. <laughs> okay, next one is from Mr. Smith. Would you okay. rather have sex with a Komodo dragon, he may give or receive, in brackets, or make a racist faux pas on the one show? Consequences unknown in brackets. Oh my god, that's brutal. <laughs> Very funny. Um, <laughs> I don't want to have sex in the Komodo Dragon, but nor do I want to do a racist gaff on the one show. Um, oh my god, that's so hard because I, I've got to admit to like one of these, choosing one of these now. Um, <laughs> yeah, you've got to go um, with one. In my head, I'm thinking it's just me and the dragon, and we've had a nice dinner, and we're in the zoo alone together, and no one's going to see it. That's a good point, yeah. The, 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 other, the other parts of this uh, aren't, aren't, aren't said in the question, so yeah. You... That's, I'm going to decide that, um, and I think... Because <sighs> <Yeah, laughs> I can't say I'd rather be racist on telly. I'm going to have to go for the Commander Dragon, I can't believe I'm saying this. <laughs> 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 they, they, that question really put you in a corner, didn't it? That's a, that's a mean well, one, that yeah. is. Yeah, that is frying pan and fire. Wow, that was fresh from wow. Twitter. That was. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to. I mean, I'm gonna. That's gonna be whirring around in my head all day now. That's, <laughs> that's burned onto my soul. Right. Okay. Okay. Great. Thanks, Mr. Smith. <laughs> Would you rather? F oh wait, sorry. This is from Carrie BP. Would you okay. rather find a hundred pounds or play a wicked trick on David Tennant? <laughs> mm. 
I do, I do like hundred pounds. That sounds like a good thing. Uh, but I think the trick. Yeah. I think I'd like to play the trick. Yeah, because presumably I'd have to sort of rope in, you know, sort of as nearest and dearest, so someone would be filming it. So mm-hmm. I think I'd yeah do that just for the, just for the social media clout. Really, I think I'd do that. It'd be like yeah. punk. Yeah, like punk. Yeah, that sounds fun. Yeah. yeah. All right. Let's, let's do it. Let's do it anyway. <laughs> no. Nice. Guy, nice. Guy. <laughs> That's we'll, we'll, we'll sort it next time, yeah? <laughs> All right, so next one is from El Sapo, El Sapo Negro. Would okay. you rather watch a Big Brother-style show centred solely around Aussie for five hours each day whilst in isolation or have no toilet roll whatsoever for all of isolation? This one isn't as difficult as, as the others in that... While I find him sort of repulsive, and he's a dreadful person, I also sort of found him quite funny a lot of the time. Oh, he is. He's really, sort of definitely. Like moments of joy playing him. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I hope it doesn't sound like I'm. This might sound like I'm sort of a toot my own horn here, but I think I quite enjoy watching five hours of him in some Big Brother situation having a meltdown. Yeah, yeah. D- definitely that one. On a daily definitely basis. Yeah, because then we're back to the down. lucky trousers from before with that next one got up. Yeah, that's yeah. a good point. That's yeah, Aussie on Big Brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, well, you can't have two, two, two questions resulting in lucky trousers, so no. that's fair <laughs> enough. Right, your next one is from Vergaloha. Okay. Would you rather have your breath smell like a fart or have a laugh that sounded like a fart? <laughs> Obviously, I don't want my breath to sound like a fart. I've got to like work with other actors and go into audition rooms and just like for general. That's a good like, point. I think that one impacts you more. Yeah, you've got to be sort of close to people. You can't work from home. Um, but the problem with like the so I would go, yeah, I'd, I'd have the laugh sound like a fart. But the problem is, is that those moments where you sort of laugh uncontrollable, you burst out laughing. Yeah, and that's... can you imagine? You'd never be able to go and watch a comedy gig again. You'd never be able to go and watch a funny play again. Go to the cinema and watch a funny film because you make your fart nice all the time. I'm going to have to go for it, but it's going to be a miserable life to have a laugh like a fart. That's fair enough. Yeah. I mean, I notice none of these none of these questions are would you rather have this great thing or this great thing? They're no, all they're not, are they? would you rather take one forfeit or the other? Yeah, people yeah. are mean. How do we make your life as miserable as possible? Pretty much. Thanks, <laughs> Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks, social media. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So next one is from Bruce Gutteridge. Would you rather snog Luis Suarez or suck the big toe of Bruno Fernandes? I mean, I'm completely sticking to party lines here. I'm going to go for Bruno Fernandes' toe. It's just, you know, at least it's a... It's in keeping with your Aussie history. Yeah, yeah, it's in keeping. I've done it it before. Um, I know I can get through it. And also, you know, Bruno Fernandes, his feet are a thing of beauty. Not physically, but just what they're able to do. So um, yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, I agree. You know, I'm going to go for that. I don't want to snog uh, Lewis Suarez. Thank you very much. I have wise no. choice. I, I second that. Um, okay, here's one. Um, okay, so this one is from <laughs> this one is from uh, Peter Bowen, who I believe you know. Yes, I do know Peter Bowen. Yes. Oh, good. This will be fun. Would you rather be at United <laughs> with Pete and Gav, or would you be working with Deb? I mean, obviously, I'm going to say working with Dev. Oh, but now you've betrayed the crew. Yeah, but that means to me um, in person and on social media. <laughs> so I think they think they deserve that. I don't want to go to the match with you, Pete. Go <laughs> hang out with mate Debbie instead. Sorry, Gav. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yeah, yeah. I think. Uh... I think I, I think I'd have chosen that one too. I'd, 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 I'd get beaten by Deb if I said otherwise. You are, yeah, yeah, you'd be in big trouble. Mm. That question is now. I'm just. Uh, I can't believe that. I don't know how many weeks I'm going to have to sit in that seat listening to them to have a pop at me now for saying that. Yeah, they're going to. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I'll be there to watch it too. Some of it. So, yeah, uh, I look forward, I look to, forward yeah. to that. I look forward yeah. to that a lot. 
<laughs> All right, so, okay, uh, the, another one we've got, I believe, is from someone you know, uh, the Luca Foundation. Oh, yeah. Would you rather do a skydive or an abseil for them? I think probably, I think probably a skydive. I think you would. I've done skydive. It's fantastic. Yeah, it is good, isn't it? Yeah, I, I think probably that. I think, I think I'd like, because... I did it once, and I sort of loved it, but it was also, you know, kind of completely terrifying at moments. And I kind of like the idea of being, of doing it for something. So there's no sort of, because if it's, your, if it's by your own volition, then you sort of, you think about like the danger of it and everything. But I don't think a charity would let me die. So I think they would probably have the sort of all the best people there, safest thing, yeah. And it's more spectacular. And it is wonderful, that free fall thing. Whoa, yeah. amazing, amazing. Yeah, totally. 